Making films to support charities in my retirement, I no longer have studio facilities at my disposal. When working on location, I often have to grapple with unwanted noise in the background. Over the years, I tried a whole range of solutions and found Crumple Pop Audio Denoise to be the best. That was Audio Denoise AU, and I used it for more than seven years on features and documentaries. More recently, Crumple Pop introduced a new version. Not just an update, Audio Denoise AI works in a completely different way and achieves its result by a different route. Because it does things differently, I still have the older AU version in my tools library and now use both in different circumstances. The main difference is how the two versions analyse the clip. The older AU version analyzes a section of background noise and then applies corrections to the whole of the clip. But the new Audio Denoise AI analyzes the complete audio clip and processes it on the fly automatically. Background noise is sometimes continuous and that's where I use the older version. But more usually those intrusive noises vary through the clip, like the noise of passing vehicles, and that's where the new version scores. Just drop the Audio Denoise AI plugin onto the offending clip. Audio Denoise AI then analyzes all the audio and removes unwanted background. Often that's enough, but it can be tweaked for specific control. The main control is the amount of processing applied. Other controls are for the amount of processing within that overall setting in three frequency bands. There's also an output slider. If, like me, you are working on a slower machine with limited RAM, then you must allow time for the analysing to complete before reviewing. If you try to review before processing is complete, then what you will hear is an audio track with dropouts. It's like the audio version of watching a video before it is rendered. B patient. If there are a number of clips recorded in the same location, Audio Denoise AI allows you to save a preset so that settings can be repeated easily. I came to version AI a little late. AI needs Mac OS 11, Big Sur, to work. I had projects at mid-stage and didn't want to risk an OS update, so I was still running Catalina and couldn't download until later. But if you are running Big Sur or later, then I recommend Crumple Pop Audio Denoise AI. Download it and you'll be in good company. Crumple Pop plugins are used by Hollywood and worldwide broadcasters alike, such as DreamWorks, Fox, BBC, CNN and many others. And me.